He used to be a handsome overseas returnee working in the financial circle of Beijing and Hong Kong. Now he started with five thousand yuan to pursue his entrepreneurial dream in Yunnan. Wow! Hello, I'm Lini. This is the day in the life of a Chinese basketball entrepreneur. Kyle, 33, from Qingdao, came to Kunming to start a business in 2018. You 每天都要遛狗吗？早晚，然后还有夜间，一般是一天三次。Every morning he walks his dog Li Kui. Kyle immigrated to Canada with his parents while he was in elementary school. His major in university was business administration. After graduation, he wanted to explore a new environment and returned to China to intern at a financial company in Hangzhou. He was immediately attracted by the efficient and tense workplace in China and decided not to leave. This is a university in Kunming. They plan to renovate the basketball and badminton courts, and are discussing cooperation with Kyle's company. Kyle needs to measure the venue and make a proposal for renovation and operation. 包含一些我们的地坪要重新搞平，因为现在这个地的话使用太多年了，所以它有一个倾斜的一个坡度。当然，第二的话是在地坪上，我们要加上那个龙骨，然后做成一个全木地板的一个形式。最重要的是，我们要现在一个可以环绕周围看一下，这是一个完全纯室外的一个球场，所以在室外的话，我们要搭一个钢架的一个棚，这个棚房的话可能比较高一些，还有办公室啊、接待室等等。麻烦您喊一下，我不知道赵老师是哪一位。好嘞。那我们这个灯这个系统，当时装修的时候，这边能看一下吗？可以开一下这个灯。我开一下Kyle is going back to the company. There will be a few meetings this afternoon. The 特别明显的特征就是喜欢篮球，然后我们几个创业者合伙人也就是喜欢篮球，然后大家都是年轻人，所以其实很同频。然后知道进入这个行业就是喜欢孩子，喜欢篮球，就那么简单。你们怎么会男青年怎么会喜欢孩子？啊，我天生喜欢小孩的，小孩。那我每天只能抱这个球去玩，所以体育的这个氛围是不一样的。在这边是一个科目，在那边我觉得是生活中的一部分。He has seven basketball training schools in Yunnan now. This is the first one, and also the headquarter of the company. This is when I was the first class. And that area was actually just in our high net. But we rented a space. But I just told you that the price of the space is very low. So when I saw this space, I gave it to the company for 80 euros per hour. So I decided to stay in Kunmin for a long time. This is his partner, Xiao Hua. A professional basketball player. I thought I should go to the university. Then, because of the work, I didn't go to the university. Oh, yes, I went to the university. Then I chose to go back to Kunming. I think there are two words. One is chaos, and one is diversity. This is my definition of my life. Chaos is that I work very hard every day. I work very hard every day. Because every day I have to deal with a lot of things. I have to deal with a lot of things. I have to deal with a lot of things. 然后第二的话，丰富多彩，因为我是喜欢这个行业的，然后喜欢体育的，所以让我感觉是每天在接触不同的新的人，然后新的新的事物，然后感觉，在一个自己喜欢的行业，跟一帮自己喜欢的人工作，这是很丰富多彩的。下班后做什么？哎，其实说实话，我的我的生活的重心百分之九十其实都基于在我们的公司，然后我们的生活除了公司之外的，可能也就是跟他们几个一块儿出去。我我喜欢旅游，然后我喜欢喝酒。
，然后我喜欢那个呃唱歌，类似这种，然后我们都有的。然后另外一个的话，就自己家庭生活的话，呃，我老婆工作很忙，所以我们见面的时间比较少一些，所以遛狗这是我一个很大的一个生活的一个作息，早中晚都要遛一次。For five thousand yuan, he rented a basketball court, hired a coach, printed promotional flyers, and distributed them at the entrance of various primary schools in Kunming City. Within two months, he recruited four children. After five years, now his basketball training school has nearly two thousand students. He also engages in other related business, such as basketball court operation and event hosting. Now they are having a weekly meeting for the school. Another meeting with the coaches to discuss the feedback from students' parents and find ways to improve their satisfaction and increase the number of students. One more meeting with the head of marketing to discuss promotion and online sales. <laughs> The coaches gather together twice a week to go through the teaching content. Kyle's company currently has over thirty full-time coaches, including foreign coaches who teach in English and are very popular among students and parents. Kyle is going to another basketball court where there will be a promotional meeting for students' parents in the evening. Kyle loves playing basketball, but since starting his own business, he doesn't have much time for basketball. His days are packed with various meetings. Weekends are the busiest time for Kyle and his team. He is off on Wednesdays, but in fact, he often works. He wants to create a listed basketball company and enjoys the process of pursuing his dream. <laughs>